Daily Devotional brought to you by Language Partners Ministry and Life Ministry in English, Spanish, and Portuguese. Daily Devotional God does not take revenge on His children. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is His love for those who fear Him. Psalm chapter 103, verses 10 and 11. Many people live in fear because of the statement, God is love, but He is also justice. The majority of us was taught that for each bad choice we have, God punishes us. Yes, He disciplines us, but to discipline doesn't mean doing a bad thing to teach us something good. This is not God's character. The Bible tells us that God doesn't treat us with the same weight of our sins and doesn't give back according to our iniquity. Even because if He proceeded this way, there wouldn't be a single human being left on earth because everyone makes many mistakes. He loves who fears Him. He loves His children and when He disciplines us, He does it with love. For example, an earthly father tells his son, don't go down that hill riding your bike, it's dangerous. The son goes on and goes down the hill. He comes home crying and all hurt. A lovely father goes on to comfort him, to comfort his son. He takes care of the ones. And when the son is saddled, he would say, son, why did you disobey? I wanted to avoid you from getting hurt. The son asks for forgiveness and the dad says, Now you will need to stay with no bike for a while until you get well. Note that the father didn't took the bike away to punish the son but to protect him. But we would think that the father would yell at the son, beat him up and even would punish him for one month. Beloved, God is love, and He always acts in love to protect us, even if the discipline doesn't seem good. In the end, we understand that everything is for love. This devotion was written by Karina Ramos with Life Ministry and translated to English by Fabiana de Souza with Language Partners Ministry. May all the glory be to our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching. God bless you. If this devotion was a blessing to you, please subscribe.